Hello friends, now I will be talking to you about multiple sclerosis. It is a idiopathic autoimmune disorder and it is usually by T cell mediated and it primarily affects the white matter. of the CNS. So, it is one disease almost exclusively of the CNS. Now, who are the patient? Usually females, much more than the males, around 20 to 40 years, especially white females living in the very cold areas. Now, what is the basic pathology? The basic pathology is there is inflammation. followed by scar in the white matter. This is the basic pathology and in this the main problem is demyelination. This is the most characteristic feature in the pathology. So, it is a primary a demyelinating disorder. In this patient, antibodies against the myelin oligodendrocyte glycoprotein are present. It is this antibody which is associated with demyelination and these patients have HLA dr b1 right so now let's see what are the clinical features we use mcdonald criteria to diagnose a case of multiple sclerosis. Now, the clinical feature in these are most common and early feature, most common and early features include optic neuritis, It also new include paresthesias, numbness that is focal sensory feature or they may be some motor weakness. They are the early features, optic neuritis is one of the most common early feature. Due to optic neuritis, 
there may be blurring of vision or some vision disturbance, there may be periorbital pain, all these can occur in optic neuritis. As far as motor weakness is concerned, patient may come with a paraplegia, hemiplegia or some focal deficit. Same thing in sensory disturbance, patient can have even numbness, paresthesias and later on there can be painful neuropathy. This can be there. Now, what are the other features what can have other than the motor, sensory and optic neuritis? other feature which can happen, patient can have bladder involvement. In the bladder involvement, there can be maybe urine retention or there may be incontinence both ways. There can be urine retention or incontinence. There can be trigeminal neuralgia. Patient may have gait problem or ataxia because of cerebellar involvement. Scanning speech is a feature in these patients and very important feature symptom the patient symptom increase after a hot bath. Hot bath increases the problem symptom are exaggerated or maybe patient may develop new symptom also. And we have one more so called barber chair sign. barber chair sign. In this, when the patient bend his neck forward, a current like sensation goes in lower limb uh, or in upper limb. This is so called barber chair sign is again seen in multiple sclerosis. Then as far as cognitive function are concerned, they are preserved till late stage. So, cognitive function are not disturbed too much, but depression is very common. Depression is very common in these patients. Now, what is the course of the disease? Typically, disease has a special feature. Disease have multiple relapses. multiple levels. This you, you need to understand. What do you mean by multiple level? Patient come to you. Patient may have multiple lesion, multiple problem at one time, which you cannot explain by a single lesion. Patient may have paraplegia at the same time, patient may have cerebellar feature also. At these two things you cannot explain by a single lesion. So, we call as multiple level. Multiple relapse, patient has problem, disappear, patient may remain asymptomatic, again has problem, again uh, problem remain for some time, patient become all right for some time, again patient has, this is called so called relapse. Relapse means patient has developed the disease again. Remission, patient has become all right or disease has cool down. So, multiple level, multiple relapses is a classic is if these two are they are strongly point toward the multiple sclerosis. So, you remember multiple level, multiple relapses is multiple sclerosis. Now, sometime 
patient may have progressive disease from very beginning. Sometime initially patient may have like this, but again start progressive. This is primary progressive, this is secondary progressive disease. So, different way, but classically when we talk about multiple sclerosis is multiple lapses, multiple level is multiple sclerosis. So, patient has come to us. Now, how to investigate this patient? Investigation. Best initial test or best most confirmatory test or you can say best most confirmatory test most confirmatory test is in both this is MRI, MRI. There is no role of CT scan in a to diagnose a case of multiple sclerosis. So, if you talk about best initial or most confirmatory either MRI is the answer. So, what we can see? We can see in the MRI scars, plaques and classically what we see is dorsal finger sign. In this periventricular venous area, there is demyelination. So, in the periventrical areas we get demyelination, so called Dawson finger uh, sign and classically it also involves anterior corpus callosum. This is a site something specific to multiple sclerosis because stroke normally does not involve anterior corpus callosum. MRI is highly sensitive 90 percent, okay. but if not then what next if this is not a confirmatory because 90 percent. The next is CSF examination. First of all in CSF there is cyto protein dissociation. That is cell count is normal, but proteins are increased. Cyto protein dissociation is the feature, but it is a non-specific. What is better test? The better test is CSF Ig index. There are few things written. You can stop the video, you can write it down. Yeah. So, CSF IgG index, now what is this? In multiple sclerosis, local IgG immunoglobulins are produced. This is known as oligoclonal band. Since it, these are produced only in the local area in the CNS, so there will be increase in CSF. So there is increase oligoclonal band. At least two bands should be there, and these are bands which are not there in the blood. So better index is CSF IgG index. How we really calculate? How we really calculate? Normal level is less than. 0.07 and how we really calculate this thing? We check CSF IgG milligram per liter, it is per milligram meter. Serum albumin again in milligram per liter. Divide by CSF albumin again milligram per liter multiplied by serum IgG again milligram per liter. 
So, as I told you that in a normal person the value is less than 0.7, here because the IgG are being made in the CSF, this value goes high much more than 0.7 and this test is positive in around 90 percent cases and it is very effective, very useful in those cases especially where MRI is non-conclusive, it is a highly uh, sensitive test of 90 percent is there. Now, patient has come to with acute attack, how to manage a case of acute attack? So, treatment includes acute management and prevention, so that the disease is slowed down for acute attack. Best treatment is intravenous methylprednisolone is the best initial treatment or we can go for plasma exchange. Either of two is done for the acute attack, but for prophylaxis we can use certain drugs. The commonly used drug nowadays are glatiramer and interferon beta. These two are most commonly used drug for prophylaxis. Glatiramer is also known as coli polymer 1 and interferon beta 1 A 1 B is again being used. They are most widely used drug for prophylaxis. Then we have an oral drug, they are injections, fingolimod has been introduced recently for prophylactic drug. But other drugs which are used but less commonly are lm 2 zimab cladribine and dimethyl fumarate they are the other drugs which we are using for prophylaxis. Now, patient has many more symptoms how to treat them. For spasticity in the muscles, we can use baclofen and tizanidine. For urine retention, we use bethanacol. It is a cholinergic drug. And as you know, this will help in the bladder contraction. Then we have urine incontinence is oxybutyrin. This is a anti-cholinergic drug. For painful neuropathy, we can use drug like amitriptyline, or we can also use drug like gabapentin. And we have one new drug, oral drug, delfempridine. It increases speed in walking. Patient can walk faster by using this drug, right. So, this is all about multiple sclerosis. Thank you very much.